This is Rev. Michelle Hopkins. My friends, I have an urgent prayer request. Remember when I said to you that Americans are being arrested now for pre-crime. This is for me Army Lieutenant Colonel Roy Potter. He's a good man, a believer, a whistleblower here on YouTube. I highly recommend his channel. He contacted Conservatives Prime. Roy stated that YouTube denied his upload and just received pictures Feds were after him. He escaped those feds. He waited and then changed his appearance. Remember, this guy is lieutenant colonel from the army, retired. He took his battery out of his phone, and he was sending this quick in hopes that it would get there. There were two fed vehicles double-teaming him. He lost them for now, and he said, I don't know when I can get back to you. Let Kitty know, please, Roy. Dabu77 said that agents swarmed his vehicle and other people's vehicles at the BP parking lot while he was getting gas. They ordered people out of their cars. They wanted to look in the cars. They were looking for drugs and guns. These people were in plain clothes, unmarked cars. They were actually agents of some type, government agents. They were wearing bulletproof vests and had guns. They were forcing people out of the cars, telling them they wanted to look in their cars. And he said the only way that he knew for sure that they were agents was when the police got there, they just let them do their business. They let them do whatever they wanted to do. Now, if this is true, folks, this is rather frightening. On top of that, Conservatives Prime also told us that there is a giant exercise going on on the East Coast starting today, going through June 29th. The Department of Homeland Security is training for an event, and uh, they have said it's a full-blown invasion drill. The Army, Air Force, Navy, Marine Corps, and Canadian military forces are taking part in that and possibly some others. There is, however, an unconfirmed email from a source from Fort Bragg that states that they are training for potential riots here on our soil in preparation for some type of event. It's also being reported by CNN that there are nationwide drug roadblocks all over America now. The police officers are asking for blood and spit, DNA. They want to take your blood. This is happening now all over America. Why do they want our blood? Why do they want our DNA, our spit? Please remember former Army Lieutenant Colonel Roy Potter in your prayers right now. He may be running for his life, and he needs believers who know how to warfare in prayer right now. Let's stop and do that right now. Heavenly Father, we love you. We believe that Roy Potter loves you. This Lieutenant Colonel has served his country faithfully, and now he's trying to tell America what is happening with this country. And because he blew the whistle on the powers that be, He's being pursued right now, perhaps upon threat of his life. We ask you, Heavenly Father, to preserve his life in the name of Jesus. Help him to get away and escape these people and be safe wherever he goes. In the name of Jesus, amen. While Dabu 7 was being stopped, he asked these agents, am I being detained? At which point they were getting out the handcuffs, getting ready to cuff him. He said, yes, you are being detained. Dabu 77 says, why am I being detained? And then it, it became clear to him that very soon he was going to be cuffed. He backed out of that situation, did what they asked him to do, and was allowed to go on his way. Why are these agents doing this? Who are these agents? Who sanction these agents? What government agency do they come from? And why are we as Americans being subject to them and to droning? Why is every email, every phone call, every tweet, every YouTube video, everything electronic, every Facebook comment being scrutinized and gone through with a fine tooth comb? We are step by step falling into a police state. We are getting ready for terrible things ahead, my friends. Stay in prayer. The Lord is with us. Greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world, no matter what happens to us. Yea, even though he slay me, yet shall I serve him. This is Rev. Michelle Hopkins. Thank you for watching, and God bless you.